What is remarkable about David's song is that Saul really had treated him horribly. Imagine the slander involved. How many manipulative letters did Saul send around the kingdom explaining David's character flaws? Revenge is a dish devoured by those who don't fear God. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. But if a man leaves off faith in the Lord, then he will not leave vengeance to the Lord. This faithless man becomes a modern-day headhunter. A Christian falls, and the unbelieving man makes sure to decapitate the fallen and hold his head up as a trophy. When this bitter man hears, Oh, how the mighty have fallen, he goes to get his knife. But we have a very different picture in King David when his enemy, King Saul, falls. The text, a summary. There are two main divisions to the passage. First is the scene at Ziklag between David and the Amalekite. Second is David's lamentation. In the first division, we hear that David had finished killing the Amalekites. David was killing Amalekites while Saul was being killed by Philistines. God told Saul to kill all of the Amalekites in 1 Samuel chapter 15. But Saul failed to do so, and God responded to Saul's disobedience by saying that the kingdom would be torn from him and given to someone better than him. God did this very thing, and here is David doing what Saul failed to do. While in Ziklag, an Amalekite came to David dressed in mourning and told him that Israel lost in battle against the Philistines. Many were dead, including Saul and his son, Jonathan. David asked how this man knew Saul and Jonathan were dead. The man told David that Saul was leaning on his spear near dead and asked to be killed. The man told David that he knew Saul could not live given his wound, so he proceeded to kill him in order to end his anguish. David tore his clothes and mourned, and all of his men with him. After asking where the man was from, David asked him why he was not afraid to destroy the Lord's anointed. David himself had multiple opportunities to do so, but he would not raise his hand against Saul. David, knowing the man was an Amalekite, ordered that he be executed and one of David's young men killed him. The Amalekites' story conflicts with what we hear in 1 Samuel chapter 31 regarding the death of Saul. There we are told that Saul fell on his own sword to avoid being mistreated by the Philistines. It seems the best way to understand the two different accounts is to see that the Amalekite was simply lying. He assumed that David sought Saul's life. If the Amalekite struck the final blow and brought David the king's crown and armlet, perhaps he would get some benefit from King David. But this Amalekite misjudged David and suffered the consequences. In the second division, David laments and says that his lamentation should be taught to the people of Judah. The lamentation opens and closes with the phrase, How the mighty have fallen. Rising and falling play a key role in the book of Samuel. We have seen Saul's rise and fall, and as we go on, we will see David's rise and fall. We've also watched for some time now the fall of Saul right alongside the rise of David. As David laments, he commands that the news of Saul's fall not be spread in Philistine territory. He does not want God's enemies rejoicing. That's verse 20. He curses the mountains of Gilboa where Saul and Jonathan were slain. He honors Saul and Jonathan as warriors in verse 22 and 23. He calls the women of Israel to weep over Saul who provided them with luxuries. And he speaks of his deep love for Jonathan in verse 26. David closes his lamentation with the same phrase that he used at the opening, How are the mighty fallen? That's verse 27. The mighty falling is associated with the beauty of Israel falling, in verse 19, and the weapons of war perishing, in verse 27. Israel's glory and protection were fallen on Mount Gilboa, and David was in mourning. You might expect a man to rejoice when the king who was hunting him unjustly finally died. You might expect a man to rejoice when the king who was hunting him unjustly finally died. What is remarkable about David's song is that Saul really had treated him horribly. Imagine the slander involved. How many manipulative letters did Saul send around the kingdom explaining David's character flaws? David honored a man who had blown it, and not in a small way. Saul used his authority and relationships to spread lies about David, and the king, like the nations, used his power to seek David's very life. But David, like Joseph who went before him, saw God's hand at work when others with power intended his harm. Moreover, David's heart was bound up not with his personal welfare, but with the welfare of the Israel of God. The bitter and resentful man is consumed with what has happened to him. 
He just can't get over it. Often this man is right about what has happened to him, and not infrequently the wrong done was hideously wrong. The bitter and resentful man's problem is not what he sees per se, but what he does not. His vision is far too narrow. If he turns his eyes upon the providence of God, and particularly on God's dealings with his covenant people, he will be freed from that burdensome chip on his shoulder. Before I go, I want to let you know that Rebecca Merkel's documentary, Eve in Exile, is streaming now on Canon+. Plus. Eve in Exile offers us a truly potent answer to feminism, and does this by providing much more than a mere negative critique. This documentary provides an alternative vision, one that is biblical, stirring, and positive. Too many conservative Christians have assumed that a biblical worldview of femininity consists simply of being not feminist. But this is lazy, negative, and at the end of the day, just reactionary. In our day, feminism has come to its full fruition, such that we cannot even define what a woman is. Providing a true biblical alternative, this documentary defines what a woman is, the glory of man, and provides a glorious picture of what that woman is for. If you enjoy the content on this channel, you're going to love Eve in Exile. Just head to MyCanonPlus.com and subscribe to watch it now.